to the Gauntlet Gaming, or the Hands Are Ready for Everyone. My name is Santiago, and today we're going to be playing some Dauntless. So for those of you who don't know, Dauntless is like a, a free-to-play Monster Hunter game. It's on the, I believe it's on the PS4 and the Switch. I don't know if it's on the Xbox. I feel like it would be, but not sure. Um, it's a lot of fun. I got back into it back in last year, June, July, but then my PS4 broke, which feels bad. But I got a replacement. And so now I can pick up where I left off. So right now we're just gonna I guess be doing some patrols. Cause I just need I need to get some more neutral or some dull arc stone. And then I need to slay the rockfall scarn and then the rift stalker. I need to build that armor set and weapons. I like I like upgrading everything that I need to the max before. I move on to the next like quest line. So I for the current quest line, dire warnings. I've done everything except for this guard. So loading into patrol right now. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something insane. Okay, we're doing laborious. So I'm gonna put on some. So I can keep the repeaters I have. I'll just switch over to my ice armor. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll throw in the barrage grenades. So my repeaters have the blade storm cell, a conditioning cell. I've got the infernal barrel, full war chamber, captain's grip, scope sights. And then the Searing Prism, which is probably my favorite prism to use. My helm, I got the I have the Pengar armor set on. I have the overpower plastic overpower cell on it. On my chest, I got a plus three sharpened cell. My arms, I've got a iceborne cell, which is pretty handy. And then nine lives actually comes in pretty clutch sometimes with having the damage. That's one of the ones I, I do want to get upgraded. And that I am good to go. So we're finding the Dreadfrost Boreas. It shouldn't be too difficult. It's just a Boreas, but I guess more difficult. Um, the only weapons I really use are the Repeaters and the Chain Blades. I haven't really started using any of the other weapons. I need to to get my mastery rank up, but this is where we're at right now. I just, the repeaters are easy to use. They're fun, it's easy to dodge out of the way. Gotta get some more materials. Need to make all the potions. Um, let's see if I can't find it first. Oh, there it is. Yep, I can see it. All right. So how I usually play with the repeaters is I forgot to I forgot to show you guys my lantern earlier, but I have the I have the Scar's Defiance lantern, and so I'll have like I have the I have the shield. What I do is I I'll pop the shield, say so getting close, so I can and so I can empower my repeaters. And then I'll drop the empowered attack speed because that's a buff that that's a buff that goes to the whole the whole team. And then I use my uh, my empowered shot like that. And that's usually how I do it: rinse and repeat. And then I'll focus down on parts that I need for armor and weapons. I am by no means a good player. I am gonna get hit a lot. I like using the repeaters just because it makes it easier to dodge. Oh, he has the, the frost shield up. So with the with the Boreas, he summons these like minions, fat things. You gotta when he has his shield up like that, you gotta kill them, and it, it helps take down the shield. And it also empowers your next your next shot against the against the Boreas itself.
Oof. Big oof. Ooh, and see, these guys will like puff up and explode. Kind of like bombs from Final Fantasy. I just wish he didn't summon them so often. They're pretty annoying. I definitely need to upgrade his armor set for when I take on the, the, the next level of Pengar. Because I like I like the way the Pengar armor set looks over the, the Warriors armor set. It's very the 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 Warriors armor the way it looks is like very very scaly. Or no, the Warriors armor set is like a lot of fur. Whereas the Pengar is more like more like scales and like plate armor, and so I just like that look more over the over the glorious. Let's see, so for the Boreas, I think I need I know I need its rare drop for all the pieces. But I think I also just need like uh, its horns. But I mean, we already got it down to half health, so this is going pretty well. I was able to get in with a good group. Although being able to get empowerment from the minions is pretty handy. Oof, that feels bad. Ooh! The worst is when I decide to reload at the wrong times. I just get, just, just get wrecked. So he's gonna bury up right now. So I guess it'd just be best to focus on the, the minions because you have to empower, you have to empower your your hits against it. Speed buff. Boom. Ah, see, there we go. Oh god, oh god. These stupid things. Oh, okay. That could have been all bad. See, I, I like the, the Skarn's Defiance Lantern. My only real problem with that is that the little, little like I guess rock tornado is kind of useless for me. See, like there, I was able to get the, the nine lives off because like I use the red Peters most of the time, so I don't ever really get any close. Oh look, we got it. Come on, that's probably one of the easiest hunts for the Dire Behemoths, honestly. The Rift Stalker was really annoying. So lots of little arc stone, warrior's hide. I don't think I got I think I think it's a psionic scale. That's the rare drop I need. Okay, let's go see if I can't upgrade some of the Boreas armor. And see exactly what parts I need for it. But you guys will probably see a lot more of these solo recordings going up because of the whole COVID-19 stuff going on. So, and the fact that I realized I was able to just straight up record through my PS4, so you'll be seeing me put up more PS4 games. I might do some Dragon Quest. I'm in the middle of playing that, but I don't know if I want to start over to record that. Talk to me. Who knows, maybe. We'll see. So, I need more Frost Orbs, too. So, they all need they all need psionic skills. 
So it's just psionic skills is what they need. For some reason I need eight total, so I need five more. Let's see, so I can upgrade this guard. Or if I can upgrade, I need to make finish making the Rift Stalker armor set. Valamir, I've got upgraded. Charrog, I need to upgrade too. I'll have to hunt the, the Char and more. Because I'll need the plus seven for the Pengar. Uh, the Drask, I can. I can upgrade, it looks like it, finally. So I'll do that real quick. So that'll make it easier to take on the, the Shock John Azaga, which I have to kill before the upgrades to the Storm Barrels. See, the MMA armor isn't too bad, but like the Hellion armor is just, it just looks so much cooler. By Hellion, I need the Scorch, I need a Scorch to slay the Scorch Skill Pangar. And then Pengar requires the Frostback Pengar. So that's the ways off. Oh yeah, I was able, I did do the Stormclaw one time, but he got kind of hard towards the end. It's pretty fast. But it's a nice looking armor set. So I would, I would prefer this over the Jurassic armor set. And that's all the armor sets right now. So honestly, I'll probably just keep doing some more Dire Patrols. Because I'm going to need a bunch of Dull Arcstone. And then from there I can probably... see what bounties do I have. So I'm just a bunch of Kill Behemoths. I need to make I need to make the Umbral Repeaters, that's what I need to do. This is pretty easy. 